Okay, folks, now in this uh, lesson, we're going to be basically finishing the uh, basic motion here, and we're going to be working on this uh, final part of our design. If I go ahead and hit play, I'm in this, you see? If I get back a bit, so let's take a look. This part, okay? We're going to be working on this, so let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start working on this design. And uh, let's see what we want. Maybe about frame 300 and take a look. Uh, we have this final motion. 310, I think, would be perfect. So let's go ahead and select our master node here. And I'm going to uh, set uh, keyframes. Let me actually enable the position also. And I'm going to set a keyframe for the position and rotation at frame 310 and maybe about 30 frame at 340 okay we're going to uh, rotate it so let's go ahead and rotate this guys I'm going to something like um, negative 175 maybe something like this kind of severe here and let's go to I think that's enough for here let's go to about mm, I don't know let's see maybe about kind of here is enough and also okay that's cool and the next thing let's change the position of it a bit let's see on X about 100 um, 20 130 let's see I guess this is gonna be enough about here and <laughs> maybe about let's go increase the Y a bit move it up a bit maybe about here and I guess something like this okay so let's go ahead and just use this keyframe button here and that's what we're gonna get so hit play move and boom okay uh, now it seems uh, it might be not that dramatic, but when we actually add these final motions and rotate this guys finally it's gonna be much more nicer. Boom, okay. So let's hit play. Boom. We can kind of make it a bit quicker if we wanted to. But let's go ahead and uh, work on the rotation of that we have uh, for the upper and this uh, uh, basically uh, down section that we have. So let's go ahead and. Uh, select these nine cubes and one uh, very important problem as you can see this cube is empty so what is that if you come back to the beginning of our animation guys you can see here we basically uh, make this uh, cube disappear so we don't have any problem with the motion of this uh, cube here so let's go ahead and work on this cube and find out which cube is this one so I think it's cube uh, let's see uh, it's cube number 24 yeah that's this cube and it's disabled uh, permanently let's go ahead and actually enable this and there we go I'm going to in, instead of this I'm going to add the simple display tag okay and display tag let's see where we can make this thing to uh, kinda appear uh, see uh, let's see about here about here we basically have uh, we, we don't see anything behind these cubes and we can make this thing appear so we're going to enable the visibility and it's gonna be 0 at frame 84 and I'm going to frame 85 and in increase this to 100 okay now it will appear you, since you can see uh, at the moment we can't see it but here it will come to life and if I go through the whole motion get back and this time as you can see our cube that is working perfectly great now let's go ahead and uh, add this uh, final motion to these guys so let's go maybe to about frame 310 when we actually uh, kind of rotating the whole structure we can uh, work on these uh, nine cubes now let's go ahead and select these nine cubes I have uh, basically uh, I have the list here so let's go ahead and select them uh, let's see okay there we go let's go ahead and select them uh, cube number uh, 2 11 27 so 27 0 17 so 0 17 
25, 6, 8. So 25, 6, and 8. And 9, 18, 1. So 9, 18, 1. 4, 26, 19. So 4, 26 is going to be this null. And then 19. Um, 24, 15. So 24 is selected. 15, 22, 15, 22. And there we go. Perfect. Now, if I go ahead and move these guys you can see we have this perfect selection here okay great let's go ahead and uh, basically add a keyframe okay and go to maybe frame 325 about here and let's go ahead and rotate these guys actually then we can move the keyframe so let's go ahead and select these guys and make sure you have the pre per object manipulation and uh, gimballing rotation enabled and let's go ahead and rotate these guys uh, about 90 degrees and then let's go ahead and set another keyframe and let's go ahead and try kind of zoom in here and I'm going to move this select this keyframe and move it to about three frame 325 here at your key time and that's what we're going to be getting so let's hit play perfect maybe it's a bit quick and but if you take a look, it's nice. Perfect. I think it's enough, even though it's not exactly like the uh, motion that we have. But I think this one is actually nicer. So let's go ahead, hit play. And perfect. Great. Now, as you can see now, we basically have the whole motion. And we can kind of get back here and take a look. So let's go ahead. When I hit play, here we go. So no problem whatsoever. Perfect. Great and nice okay uh, what we can do maybe if we go through these guys come down here I'm going to actually select these guys maybe we can kinda mm, come here let's go to maybe three for 340 and see hit play ah oh, that's I think it's nicer even though we have this kind of problem but it's not going to be visible at all it's going to be very quick and we are going to be adding motion blur so if I hit play here boom perfect very nice now we can go ahead and uh, from the next uh, section basically start uh, adding the letters uh, here and also start lighting material and all the necessary stuff before render and then we can go ahead render it and do the compositing inside after effect so uh, see you in the next section stay tuned with mographplus.com